Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at some GCSE style questions on Osmo regulation. Okay, so here we've got uh, an example of a paper. Uh, the question is asking you, first of all, to identify gland X. So it's looking for which process controls the composition of blood. Now, ADH is produced by the pituitary gland, so gland X should be the pituitary gland. And the stimulus that causes gland X to produce ADH is low water content. So you have receptors within the nephrons of the kidneys which actually detect blood composition, so basically how much water um, is in the blood. Now, ADH stands for antidiuretic hormone, so it's obviously going to be a hormone, that's the type of substance ADH is. The B describe the effect of an increase in ADH production on the kidneys and on the composition of urine. It's looking for three main things. If there's an increase in ADH production, there's obviously going to be more water being reabsorbed by the kidneys, which is going to increase the water content of the blood. Therefore, your urine is going to be highly concentrated. And that's what it's looking for. So more water, reabsorption in the kidneys, and highly concentrated urine. Okay, so what they might also ask you is questions related to other animals. So here you've got a question about camels. It tells you that they can safely lose up to 40% of their body water, that they can also drink large amounts of water at one time, and that their red blood cells can swell up to 240 times their normal size without bursting. And also that they can produce very concentrated urine as well. So the question is asking you to use your knowledge and understanding of osmosis to explain why the red blood cells of a camel swell after drinking large amounts of water. And this question is worth three marks, so they're looking once again for three points. The first point I would note is drinking a large amount of water increases the water content of the blood. So that should get you one mark. The other two marks should come by talking about water moving from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration, which would be within the RBC, which is just shorthand for red blood cell. The final mark comes by stating that the red blood cell swells due to its larger volume. So due to water coming into the cell, it swells. Okay, so here I've got a diagram to, which quite clearly shows what's happening. So here you've got your red blood cell and you can see that it's got a lot more solutes within the cell than outside of the cell. So therefore it's got low water concentration here. You've got lots of water or high concentration of water outside of a cell. Therefore, the water moves into the cell and the cell increases in volume. Okay, so the last question is asking you to describe the process by which the camel produces more concentrated urine. So you need to remember that low water content of urine is caused by the pituitary gland producing more ADH. And the ADH makes the kidneys reabsorb more water. So once the kidneys have reabsorbed more water, you're going to have less water going into the urine, which is going to make it more concentrated. So what they're looking for is for you to state that the pituitary gland produces ADH, the kidneys reabsorb more water within the nephrons, so less water goes into urine.